Yes, fish fans, it's only Bonesy and welcome to another how-to. In this episode, we're going to cover the knotless knot. Now, this knot is super simple and easy to tie, but the bonus about this knot is that it is the basis of the use for so many different carp rigs, it is untrue. You've got the likes of the Zig rig, solid bag rig, the German rig, you've got bottom bait rigs, wafter rigs, pop-up rigs, and all of these rigs use this knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to tie the knot. And from that, in other episodes, we will look a little bit more in depth into specific rigs. But for now, I'm just going to teach you how to tie the knot this knot. It's very simple. Now for this demonstration, what I've done is I've took a very large hook because it's gonna make it easier for you guys to see. This is a size two signet wide gape and I've got some, un some soft coated uh, braided material. Now you don't have to use a coated braided material to tie the knot this knot. You can tie it with a mono filament, you can tie it with braid or you can tie it with a coated. But for this, I'm gonna use the coated because it's a little bit easier to see on the camera. So what we do is you take your hook and from the back end of the eye, closest to the point, so that's the inside part, I'm just gonna thread the material straight through the eye. Once I've got it through the eye, I'm just gonna hold it nice and close to the shank of the hook. That's the length running down here. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take this material and I'm gonna wrap it around the shank of the hook. Now what's important to remember here is when they create a hook, the metal is bent around to create the eye and it joins again on the shank. Now you always wrap opposite that. So never start wrapping the side where the joint is. So I'm gonna simply wrap it round. So I'm gonna go once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six, seven, and eight. Now I always do eight, I don't know why. I think you can get away with seven, you can get away with six. You can even go up more if you need to push the, the tag end of the material further up the shank of the hook, you can wrap round more times. But eight for me has always been a good number. Once I've wrapped it round, I then take the tag end and I simply feed it back through the eye of the hook. So, oh, get hold of it, that'll make life a bit easier. Straight back down through the eye, pull it down, and as I tighten it up, that there is the knot this lot. So like I said, it is super, super simple to tie, but so versatile, it's untrue. So for you guys out there that are thinking about trying to tie the knot this knot, that is how to do it. If you're a fan of this sort of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out some of the videos that we've got on Team Tracker's YouTube channel, showing you how to tie some rigs that incorporate this awesome, easy to tie knot.